Is it worth it to try and become a nuclear engineer in 2021? That is the question that this video is going to try and help you answer. We're going to go over the salaries of nuclear engineers. We're going to go over the job market and we're going to go over educational requirements. By the end of the video, we'll have an understanding of some of the advantages of becoming a nuclear engineer, but you'll also understand reasons why you shouldn't become a nuclear engineer. But first, what are the roles and responsibilities of people in this occupation? Nuclear engineers are concerned with solving problems related to nuclear energy and nuclear waste disposal primarily. What people don't understand is many of these engineers find industrial and medical uses for radioactive materials. Nuclear engineers are actually at the forefront of developing uses of nuclear material in healthcare devices. Nuclear engineers develop nuclear equipment such as reactor cores, radiation shielding, and associated instrumentation. They also assist in creating maintenance activities of nuclear power plants to ensure that safety standards are met. Many nuclear power plants are out of date and nuclear engineers typically have to maintain and ensure that they're safe to use and that nothing terrible will happen. Unfortunately for nuclear engineers, there aren't too many nuclear power plants being created in the United States. There's really just two new reactors on the horizon in the state of Georgia. Another place nuclear engineers are employed is the US Navy. There are 11 aircraft carriers that are nuclear powered in the US Navy, and there's over 100 nuclear powered submarines. All these reactors in the Navy have to be maintained, upgraded, and the Navy is always trying to create new classes of ships with new nuclear reactors. Just like other engineers, nuclear engineers typically have a bachelor's degree with a focus in nuclear engineering. As for employed nuclear engineers in the United States, about 85% of them just have a bachelor's degree. 4% have a bachelor's degree and a post-bachelor certificate, and about 7% have a master's degree. This is very similar to civil engineering, mechanical engineering, and industrial engineering, where the vast majority of the employed have just a bachelor's degree. The most likely Myers-Briggs type to become a nuclear engineer is the ENTJ, followed by the ENTP, the debater, the ISTJ, the inspector, and the INTP, the thinker. And the ENTJ is also known as the commander. So what kind of compensation can you expect as a nuclear engineer. There are certain countries that tend to pay nuclear engineers more than others. I pulled data from the Economic Research Institute. They have uh, the base salaries of nuclear engineers in different countries. I converted these base salaries to the US dollar. In 2021, in France, the average base salary for a nuclear engineer is around $85,000. This is followed by the United Kingdom, where the average base salary is around 92,000 when converting the pound to USD. Then there is Canada with an average base salary of around 103,000, Germany around 105,000, Australia about 112,000, and the United States tends to pay nuclear engineers the most with an average base salary of around 125,000 per year. And within the United States, nuclear engineers do really well, especially when compared to other engineering fields. Nuclear engineering was actually found to be the third most lucrative type of engineering, only beat out by petroleum and computer hardware engineering. And not only that, the base salaries of nuclear engineers have grown a lot over the past 20 years. In the year 2000, the average base salary for a nuclear engineer was recorded at $78,770. This rose to $125,130 in 2020, giving us an average yearly wage growth of around $2,200 per year. So not only do nuclear engineers tend to make more than other types of engineering, their wages are growing faster as well, not by a percentage basis, but just by a total dollar basis. If this wage growth were to continue, by 2024, the average base salary for a nuclear engineer would be around 132,000 per year. By 2030, about 145,000 per year. And experience in geography within the United States plays a huge role in the compensation of nuclear engineers. A starting salary would probably be around the 10th percentile, which would put a starting salary for a nuclear engineer at around 75,000 per year. Whereas the top 10% of nuclear engineers, the cream of the crop, they earn more than 185,000 per year. Another interesting fact about the wages of nuclear engineers, the wages are not dispersed evenly across the United States. It's actually been found that on the West Coast, nuclear engineers tend to make a lot more than on the East Coast. In this particular map, the darker the blue the state, the higher the wage. So California, Arizona, Nevada, and Idaho actually tend to pay nuclear engineers a lot more than 
East Coast states. So that covers the compensation of nuclear engineers across the United States. What is the job market like? For this particular data, I'm also using data from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. So this is for data within the United States. The first thing to understand is this is a pretty tiny occupation compared to the big three engineering fields. The big three engineering fields are civil, industrial, and mechanical engineering. They each have around 300,000 people in their workforces. Meanwhile, for nuclear engineers, the government found that there's about 15,700 employed nuclear engineers in the United States. So this occupation is vastly smaller than the big three engineering fields and other key engineering fields such as electrical engineering, electronics engineering, and even computer hardware engineering is bigger than this field. There is a danger of going into a smaller niche occupation. Sometimes there aren't jobs available in the city or town that you wish to live in. And unfortunately for nuclear engineers, the number of employed has risen a little bit over the past 20 years, but hasn't risen that much, especially compared to hotter engineering fields such as industrial engineering. In the year 2000, the government recorded 12,610 employed nuclear engineers in the United States. This peaked in 2012, where the government recorded 19,930 employed nuclear engineers. Since then, it has unfortunately fallen. In 2020, the government recorded 15,700 employed nuclear engineers. And much of this fall could be attributed to the closing down of nuclear power plants. Many of the nuclear power plants across the United States were built in the 70s. They're pretty old, and many could potentially be shut down for safety reasons. But this could easily be countered by the healthcare sector hiring more and more nuclear engineers if they're needed to create more and more healthcare equipment. Unfortunately, the US government has an extremely bearish forecast on nuclear engineers. They're forecasting a 13% drop in the number of employed nuclear engineers from 2020 to 2030. This means by 2030, there'd be around a little over 13,000 employed nuclear engineers in the United States. And another warning regarding the job market for nuclear engineers, there's very specific states where they tend to be employed. In this map, the darker the blue the state, the greater the number of employed nuclear engineers. As you can see, Virginia has the greatest number of employed nuclear engineers in 2020. This is most likely because of the naval base, the giant naval base in Norfolk. Virginia also has a couple of nuclear power plants. South Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Idaho also have a large number of employed nuclear engineers. Meanwhile, the gray areas in this map have little to no employment opportunities for nuclear engineers. Finally, one way to really gauge how hot the job market is for nuclear engineers is to go directly to job posting platforms such as Indeed.com, Glassdoor, and LinkedIn. I went to these three different sites and I really looked at how many job postings are related to nuclear engineering. Searching for nuclear engineer on glassdoor.com gave me 7,413 job opportunities. On Indeed, there was 4,558 job postings related to nuclear engineer. And on LinkedIn, I found 8,818 job opportunities related to nuclear engineers in the United States. So as you can see, there's actually quite a few job postings related to nuclear engineering across the United States on three of the most popular job boards. Now these platforms aren't perfect. If you scroll down, you'll notice that there's are, there are job postings unrelated to nuclear engineering. The software industry has been stealing engineers for a year. A lot of people that train as nuclear engineers can easily jump into software, become engineering managers, and there's quite a few other occupations open to people with an engineering background. If you enjoyed this video, definitely also check out my electrical engineering video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.